It's called Beyond KFC. It's all plant-based, soy protein, and just, you, you gotta taste this. Just try it. Fast food menu items are not always on the traditional side, so it's no surprise that some cross a boundary or two. Here to show us that limits do exist are 15 times fast food went too far. It's too much! It's too much! Pizza Hut Hot Dog Bites. My hot dog! Ever looked up the word excessive in the dictionary? Well, if you check, you just might find this menu item's photograph sitting there in place of a definition. Said to be over-the-top greasy, Pizza Hut experimented and failed with their hot dog bites. With mini hot dogs replacing a traditional crust, this item that was introduced in 2015 attempted to be everything you ever wanted. I love it. This is simply awesome. And then showed us all that too much of a good thing can leave you feeling, well, kind of sick. The grease factor in this item was so high that it eventually led to the Pizza Hut hot dog bite's demise. The media had a lot to say about the major grease factor tied to this pizza, and since there wasn't exactly a demand for this product before it came to be, it eventually left, just like Sandy left Danny at the drive-in in Greece. Sonic Pickle Juice Slush. Can I eat the pickle? Well, there's a lot of salt in it, but yeah, it's fine. I mean, it is a vegetable. So pickle juice is a thing. And since pickle juice is a thing, Sonic Drive-In actually created a pickle juice slush in 2018. Some other restaurants and food companies have created pickle-flavored products, but normally pickles are just there to add to the overall flavor. Whereas in the pickle juice slush, the pickle is the main attraction. Pass. Yeah. The unique and distinct flavor of a pickle means that many people have strong reactions and opinions to pickle-flavored products, and the Sonic Pickle Juice Slush is no exception. Whether it's the pickle taste that puts you off, or perhaps it's the bright green coloring of the slush that makes your head turn, whatever the case, the Sonic Pickle Juice Slush is as debatable a product as they come. So whether you're for or against is up to you, but sadly, whether this exists or not is up to Sonic. Friendly's Grilled Cheese Burger Melt. Now describe what you taste. Cheese. They say that all press is good press, but with the Friendly's Grilled Cheese Burger Melt, we tend to disagree. No one needs this Friendly's menu item. Literally, nobody. Trust me when I say this. A combination of something between a grilled cheese and a burger, this offering wasn't exactly popular. A lot of factors could have contributed to this heavy item's lack of popularity, but we're thinking the ridiculous caloric and sodium amounts, as well as the incredible amount of bad press coverage, have seriously got something to do with it. In fact, this item has such a bad rep that it's even been dubbed death on a bun. Yikes, that doesn't sound good. Popeye's 24 karat champagne chicken wings. That sounds expensive. Absurdly decadent, these luxurious chicken wings from Popeyes were created to commemorate a very special occasion. In 2018, in order to acknowledge their 3,000th store opening, Popeyes created a dish so exclusive you can only get it at four locations nationwide. So if you were lucky enough to be in New York, New Jersey, Louisiana, or sunny California, you might have been in luck when these were around. What continent is this? Manhattan. With a real, legit champagne batter on the wings and then a light dusting with 24 karat gold flakes, this celebratory Popeye's menu item took chicken wing extravagance to the next level. Papa John's Frito Chili Cheese Pizza. I'm having a relationship with my pizza. We're not sure how the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles would react to this one. The Frito's Chili Cheese Pizza, courtesy of Papa John's, was a venture into strange pizza topping territory. While not the strangest toppings to ever grace a pizza pie, the Fritos Chili Cheese Pizza received mixed reviews. It was said that this pizza was okay after a few bites, but then, well, that was it. Oh. Apparently, the pie was pretty anticlimactic and kind of boring after the initial excitement of indulging in a pizza gone rogue. Papa John's proved to have gone a bit too far with this one, and since the pizza didn't gain a following, it ventured off into the fast food fail abyss. Now that's not amore. Red Robin Ramen Burger. This is a tasty burger. 
Ever heard of ramen buns? No? Well, neither had we until we came across the Red Robin Ramen Burger. The light bulb went off in someone's head over at Red Robin, and they definitely gave it the good old college try, that's for sure. Red Robin released the ramen burger with ramen noodles for buns to some pretty good reviews. But it has been said that a lot of the positivity behind those reviews can be attributed to kinda everything else on the burger. You see, the ramen buns were made of cooked noodles mixed with some eggs so that it stayed together. Then the noodles were compressed into a bun shape and grilled on both sides for crunch. It had special flavorings, which were the main reason why people didn't hate this burger. Not bad. Not bad. This creatively random menu item was kind of messy because of the noodles, but it had some pretty good additions. With the taste of teriyaki and chow cho aioli, fried jalapenos, and chili-infused shredded cabbage, carrot, and onions on top, it definitely had its own unique taste. McDonald's Nutella Burger not so bad. Definitely the definition of being on point, McDonald's Nutella Burger is not an inch more creative than it sounds. It literally consists of a giant mass of Nutella meant to resemble a beef patty on a bun. I have both type 1 and 2 diabetes. Ow! This item was introduced at Italian McDonald's locations, but the rest of the world would have to resort to adding slabs of Nutella to their own buns. The Mickey D's Nutella Burger, called the Sweet Con Nutella, Nutella even came in its own signature box. Whether you're a Nutella fan or not, this one is just too excessive. It has to make the list of times that fast food just went too far. KFC Fried Salmon Fish for sport only, not for meat. KFC is known for its fried chicken, period. But Japan's culinary world is known for trying tons of unique flavors of a given product. If you consider the sheer variety of different Oreos, Kit Kats, or Cheetos that exist in Japan, you'll most likely agree. Japan is also big on seasonal food. And one autumn season, they elected to introduce something kind of fishy at KFC. That's right, they introduced fried salmon. There were two menu items on this list, the fried salmon sandwich that came with lettuce, tartar sauce, and basil sauce, and just a simple filet of fried salmon. KFC has branched out into the seafood world before with their shrimp burger in China. You, you like seafood, do you? Most people would rather the company stick to what they know best. KFC and chicken go hand in hand like Selma and Louise, or ketchup and mustard. So stay in your lane, KFC. Make the Colonel proud. Burger King Bacon Sunday. What did you say? We've got to admit, this one does look like it has tantalizing attributes, but that being said, we know that this one just went too darn far. The Burger King bacon sundae was doused in chocolate and caramel sauce. While some reviewers were disappointed because they falsely believed that the ice cream itself would be bacon-flavored, most people in general were not too taken by this BK menu addition. Some people liked it, especially for its strips of bacon found in the ice cream. Amen. Man. But many people just found it way too excessive. And to be honest, we completely catch their drift. Overly decadent, rich, and bursting in way too many flavors, the Burger King bacon sundae definitely took things a little too far. Taco Bell Naked Egg Taco It's Taco Tuesday! They say that Taco Bell thinks outside of the bun, and we're prone to agree, especially after learning about this menu item. The Taco Bell Naked Egg Taco was such a creative idea on the restaurant chain's behalf, it revolutionized the breakfast menu at the Bell. The shell of the taco was a fried egg itself. The egg taco was filled with potatoes, sausage, some cheese, and of course, bacon. While only select restaurants participated in this promotion, when it was going Going on, you could even reserve a table to try one. And one of the best things about this menu item was the price. At $2 an egg taco or 4 bucks for a combo, how could anyone complain? Shut up and take my money! While impressively unique, this fast food item did go a little too far. Pizza Hut Cheeseburger Crust Pizza Since four days ago when I saw you house a cheeseburger pizza, 
Okay, we've got to ask something. Why is Pizza Hut always overdoing it with the crust? With 10 mini hamburgers chilling at the edges of this pizza pie, the beef patties were essentially folded into the crust. Then, just like the pizza itself, the crust is doused in cheese, turning the beef patties into mini cheeseburgers. This pizza is rather costly, though, and will set you back a grand total of $30. So if you were planning on getting the most bang for your buck, this creation may not be the one. But if you were planning on getting a stomach ache, you just might be in luck, as the heaviness of this pizza pie is enough to make anyone's stomach gurgle. Good luck with that. If the other items on this list went too far, then this one went so far it entered into a new zip code. Carl's Jr. Double Omelette Biscuit. Just waiting for my breakfast. Lewis! Sometimes we reinvent the wheel just to find out that the wheel was broken to begin with. Carl's Jr. added a previously existing menu item to their morning offerings, but with a doubled up twist. Just a little bit. I can't stress the littleness of it enough. Said to be ridiculously messy, the stack of eggs, cheese, breakfast sausage, and bacon was perhaps going a little too far, even for Carl's Jr. And with biscuits for buns, this sandwich just gets heavier and heavier. Abundant in meat and requiring many napkins, if you were to order this menu item, you would have noticed cheese oozing from just about everywhere. While the reviews came out pretty much average across the board, most people had something to say about the mess. We're hoping that Carl's Jr. learned its lesson with this one. Taco Bell Volcano Crispy Chicken Chips. What? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We've said it before and we'll say it again. Taco Bell thinks outside of the bun. But sometimes they seem to be traveling at warp speed away from the norm, and that can either work wonders or make you wonder what in the heck they were doing. The Taco Bell Volcano Crispy Chicken Chips may resemble chicken nuggets, but they're admittedly a unique menu item in their own right. Same, same, but different. Accompanied by the Bell's signature lava sauce, which has an on and off relationship with the menu, this fried chicken resembles tortilla chips, but in reality, they're not. This menu item evolved into the Volcano Chick Star, which is essentially a wrap with these inside. Taco Bell may have gone too far with this item, but some people like extremes. And hey, we guess that we can let the Bell pass off chicken as chips. Domino's Specialty Chicken. Our special today is coho salmon. Sounds on disgusting. Do you have chicken fingers? Domino's is a pizza joint. We know this, but we think maybe someone should tell Domino's. Every now and then, the pizza chain likes to add something random to the menu. And when they do, that menu item doesn't exactly always do well with the patrons. Take, for example, Domino's specialty chicken. These chicken tenders had cheese melted on top with other various ingredients and sauce. We're still a little bit confused as to what what was so special about this chicken, but we'll try and let the name slide. Fried chicken is fry fry chicky chick. It's the taste that people took issue with, and the mess was also a downside. The reviews said this menu item was okay, but in order for a dish to be a real success, it needs to be reviewed as great, fantastic, or exemplary. Not just okay. Too far, Domino's. Reel it back in. KFC Waffle Double Down. We can stay up late, swapping man stories and in the morning I'm making waffles. Most of us already know about the incredible controversy and popularity surrounding the KFC Double Down. With chicken patties for buns, who can blame the public for their overall strong reactions to this item? Well, in 2018, Canada decided to make this double down with a twist. This one may have gone too far, but we're kind of vibing with this one at the same time. Canadian KFCs rolled out the waffle double down, which still had chicken patties for buns, except sandwiched in between the chicken was a nice-sized waffle. Wow. Drizzled with Canadian maple aioli sauce, this item is both stereotypically Canadian and excessive at the same time. Delicious. Double down with another great video. Just tap or click, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad. And hey, leave us a comment.